Hello, my name is Frank Silverman, Executive Director of the Martial Arts Industry Association, and you are watching the September Management DVD. I want to talk to you today, following up from last month, about back-to-school marketing. So last month, just to recap, we briefly said everybody's in charge of helping you get new members in your school. Paid staff are in charge, volunteers are in charge, um, your students are in charge, as well as the parents are in charge. And we came up with some kind of one or two ideas for each one of those, how they can take part. But now we're pretty close to, if we're already not fully engaged into the back to school marketing. And the biggest thing I wanna start with is another philosophical idea about our marketing is people need to know that we exist, okay? That's important because I can remember many, many times sitting inside my school uh, on University Boulevard in, in Orlando. I remember sitting there where somebody would come in. And by the way, I was in the largest uh, shopping center in the area and people would come in. I'd been there for three, four, five years and say, oh, wow, I never knew you were here. Wow, you never knew I was here. Well, here's why people didn't know I was there. At that point in time in their life, for the first five years, they never wanted martial arts or never know they were going to need martial arts or never desire to be involved in martial arts. So they probably saw my studio there. It just never dawned on them that I was there. And then all of a sudden they had a baby one day and four years later, five years later, they have a need for martial arts but they don't really know where one is. So first thing I wanna challenge everybody to do is think philosophically, we need to make sure people know we exist. Please do not think uh, so high of, of your particular school that everybody knows where you are. It doesn't matter how great of a location you have, doesn't matter how many hundreds or thousands of students you have, it's possible that people do not know you exist. So what are the things we can do to get out there to make sure people know we exist. Now, that being said, you need to have a good marketing plan. You need to have a good special. You need to drive home that this is back to school time. All of those things are part of what I'm talking about. You don't want to just get out there and pass out a flyer that says, hey, look at where our school is. Maybe this flyer should say back to school special. But we want to do a marketing blitz, essentially, to get our name out there, tell people we exist, and drive home that this is a back to school special. So I'm gonna start with, we, we talked about four different people in charge of your marketing. Your paid people, your volunteers, if you have volunteers, your students, and your parents of your students. So I'm gonna give you one idea for each of those, one or two ideas for each of those, um, that will help you make sure people are aware of where you're at. Number one is your paid team members. It's their job to get out there and do whatever, what I call paper marketing, you may actually have. So if that means about flyers, everybody takes some flyers and when they walk in your parking lot, they hit the cars that are in, in on, on the way in as they do that. Or maybe just one hour a week, every instructor passes out flyers in the local parking lot or even only 30 minutes if that's possible. Now, you might not want your head instructors or your program director doing that. You should pay somebody, potentially even a, a older teenager that'll work for minimum wage, pay them to pass out flyers if that's something you can do in your municipality. If not, let's get the little ad cards or the postcards that are in this success kit and let's go put a dozen of them at a dozen businesses today and then another dozen in another dozen businesses tomorrow. The neat thing about those ad cards are they work exponentially. You put out 10 of them, nothing happens. You put out 100, the phone starts to ring. So these are things your paid people can do. Now I'm gonna shift one though for a second and say let's go all the way to the parents. How many parents do you have that work somewhere and have the ability to just take a flyer and pin it up or take a stack of a dozen ad cards and put it where they work? Maybe the manager at the local Burger King or McDonald's or the local Walmart or wherever that is, maybe they can go out there and just take you know, 20, 30, 40, 50 of your cards and put them out at their local business where they work or, or maybe where, where they own. So same idea, hitting two of those sectors, your paid employees. If you don't want your paid people to do it, maybe you hire somebody and pay them to do it, meaning you didn't want your full-time instructor passing out flyers. And I would suggest that additionally, parents are able to do that as well. Simply asking them will generate a lot of results. 
Next, what about our volunteers? This is kind of a cool one. Uh, we do this about once a year. We call it Flyer Bonanzas. Actually, we did this and showed you how to do this in a success kit a long, long time ago. But the idea was we had a lot of teenagers that volunteer. And what we did was we got all the teenagers, packed them in a van, and on a Saturday and a Sunday in the mornings, we went out to a local neighborhood and flyered the, the local neighborhoods. After that, we took them all out to a pizza party, followed up by a class. And actually, we did the class, then did the pizza party. It was a way of essentially getting our volunteers who were very, very excited about what we do to help kind of work for us and, and, and take part in building the school. So volunteers absolutely can be part of it. And we've done that essentially by just help asking them to help us flyer and get the word out. Another thing you can do with them is if you're okay, you can get your volunteers business cards. A lot of your volunteers, they, they like the stature of being involved in your school. So why not get them business cards that say free class pass on back? Because what do you think they're going to do with those business cards? They'll give out more business cards than your actual paid employees will do. Next thing is we talk about our students. We want to let the students know that they should bring in new members. So two ideas to help get them going involved in bringing people in is have a special event and not only encourage, but almost make it mandatory to bring a friend. We do bring a buddy, break a boards, free event. Only way to come to the event is bring a buddy. How about do a, a special friend workout or bring your friend to class day. And during those one or two days during that one week, the only way you get to come to class is if you bring a family member or a friend. This way, if somebody comes and they forget about it, they can bring mom or dad or brother or sister out on the floor as well. That's how they can help meet those expectations. Then we go on to, to the parents. And I mentioned this last time, but the best way to get parents involved is by simply telling them that the best way they can pay, pay you a compliment is through a referral. And truth is, referrals help keep everybody's prices down because it doesn't cost anything to market or it's a a marketing fee we only pay when someone signs up. So I would make sure you tell the parents, number one, we have a referral program. Number two, you can tell me how great of a job or how much you love our school, but the best way is, is to send your friend, family member, or neighbor in. And then the last thing you can do to help with that is you can double the referrals. If you normally give $50 out, give $100 if they refer somebody. And by the way, now let me go backwards a step. You can say that to your students as well, because your students, if you make the prize relative to them or the parent, now maybe it's a gift card to uh, their, their, fav their favorite stores, whether it be Toys R Us or a local comic book store. Whatever it is, you can cater a referral program to both parents and students. So first, I wanted you to kind of have this shift in thinking. Everybody's involved in marketing for new members. But then the next thing I wanted you to do was get out there and get all of those hundreds of people that are involved with your school out there trying to produce new members from your community. So I hope that helps. The list could go on forever. I trust that you can make that list grow.